Hey guys, what's going on? Doing another review of Bullseye Treads this week. So I think this is week three of me recording these treads to try and show you guys what this service is all about. So if you haven't heard of it or you want to know more, click on the link in the description to take you to this Bullseye Treads review. It's by Jeff Bishop. Every Monday morning you get a fresh new swing trade idea. And the amazing part is it's only $97 for a year. Uh, which is awesome. So the last um, 20 trade ideas this year alone have uh, only had one losing trade in them. So uh, in this article I keep a list of all the different trades um, with the contracts, where they went, where they came from, <laughs> like the whole thing. And honestly, like most of the time there are 50 to 300 percent winners. Um, all options trades uh, all lasting a couple of days to a week at the most. So really cool alert service. You get it via email. He also does a really awesome like live stream uh, every Monday at 11 to talk about his trade. So like this week on Tuesday, it was a long weekend. So we had this come out on Tuesday, 31st of May. Uh, it was PayPal. So he was looking at trading some call options on PayPal. And he gave like he gave a bit of a like a brief explanation in here, so you can kind of see this is the inside my dashboard on Rage and Bull, and you can kind of see some of the very basics of what this might be about. So we'll kind of go through that, and I'll show you what happened to the contracts. Um, spoiler alert: it was another awesome winner. So um, if you're looking to buy an alert service, I would check out Bullseye. It's probably one of the best out there at the moment. Um, that being said, the past performance doesn't predict future performance, so just because there's been like 19 out of 20 uh, winners, uh, the chances of it continuing like this are very low, uh, so just so you know what you're getting into. Um, Alright, so looking at PayPal, this is what he sent out on the Monday morning, so I want to start taking trades on beating down tech, stro tech stocks again. So. This used to be his bread and butter, he was all about the tech stocks, but he's been holding off quite a bit it seems to just kind of let things settle down in this nasty market sell, sell off. So, uh, so he was looking at different ones and it looked like PayPal actually had some more relative strength, which is one of the key things that Jeff looks for is relative strength. So he was looking at PayPal and he talked about how it's actually starting to look like it will bounce, um, which is always a dangerous game to play. but. Jeff's been doing this for probably 20 years now. Seems to be able to time these things pretty well. So, you went with PayPal. Um, it used to be trading over 300 bucks, uh, and it's all the way down to like 85. Uh, so, his analysis was really, really simple. Basically, uh, I watched the 11 o'clock webinar that he does, live stream about it. So he doesn't really talk that much more about it in here. Um, and really, it feels like a a very simple trade, right? So basically he saw that on the daily chart, PayPal was starting to consolidate, so it had this move down, and it was consolidating. Um, and basically it looked like it was holding up better than the overall market over the last few weeks. So he reckoned that it would make a pop to the upside, especially if the market continued to rally this week, which, which it did. And uh, he basically was using the Keltner channels to use a simple technical underlying this. If you don't know much about them, uh, check them out. You can just Google them. Keltner channels. Why is Skips look? Yeah, go and check them out. It's interesting, interesting way to trade. Um, pretty simple and straightforward. So go and check those out if you're not sure what those are. Jeff uses them pretty much every week. He's talking about them, so it's definitely one of his key technicals. But really this is a combination trade on the Keltner channels but also the uh, just a simple you know, bounce play based on PayPal consolidating and looking to, to bounce. Uh, and he was right as he usually is or has been over the entire like last six months. Um, so this is what he had to say about the actual trade. He's going to buy PayPal June 10th 2022. $85 calls near $3.00. Uh, and the target one on the underlying is 88 bucks, um, with a stop at 77. And let's take a look at what happened. So if we go over to the chart for PayPal, so this is the chart starting on Tuesday. So this area here is all day Tuesday, uh, and then this is Friday over here. So it's just the the last five days. So one, two, three, four, five, over here. So basically. Um, you're able to enter around 
around here. So on this dip, a lot of people I know got into this this trade. Uh, I didn't. I've been holding off because I keep expecting the next bullseye trade to be a losing trade, and so far it's causing me just to miss all the winners. But if you look on the right here, I've plotted the the price of the contract, the exact contract that he was talking about. So uh, the June tenth, eighty five dollar calls um, are here. So. The purple line is the uh, the call contract price. Uh, so you can get in around here if you look over to the right. That's around two eighty. Three dollars is like there. So if you got in it anywhere around here and held it until eighty eight dollars on the underline, the contract's actually actually hit five point four. You pull back a little bit, so it's always difficult to say. You know, if you'd got in here, would you've taken it all off when it hit the peak here, which was eighty eight, which was the price target, right? So if you'd done that, you'd have got around, let's be pessimistic here and say you were in at 3, you'd have got 3 to 5.5, which is a, a massive, massive jump, um, nearly 100%. Now, like some people I know, if you'd actually held off because this ripped, you know, midday, you could have gotten a lot cheaper way down here somewhere. If you'd had the confidence, it still hadn't stopped out on the... Uh, on the chart, so this would have been closer to two dollars, two twenty, something like that. In that case, if you managed to take profits up at the um, the top here, uh, when it hit the first price target of eighty eight dollars, you'd have actually doubled your money and more, nearly one hundred and fifty percent. So obviously, very few people have got that whole move, but uh, even just a fifty to one hundred percent chunk here would have been pretty nice. So this did exactly what what he was hoping it would do. So that was really good. Uh, so yeah, so you, June 10th calls and go and check them out. This was on May 31st that he said this. And this is what I like about Bullseye is um, you can go through it and check everything he said. So um, even though there's not a displayed track record, like this is what happens, the closest you're going to get with Bullseye is what I'm doing here, which is I've done the work for you. I've gone through and plotted the different uh, contracts and, you know, for every alert in 2022, all the way back to January 1st. Um, so, it's pretty amazing. I mean, it's a great service. I would definitely check it out. Um, go and check out this article. Uh, I think for a limited time, it's only $97 a year. There may even be a five-day or seven-day free trial, but I'm hesitant to, to really promise that because they change these things all the time. So, uh, if you want to check this out, I would go and check out my full article here. I have some background on Jeff. I have uh, different... Um, information that you might not be able to get um, just by looking at Raging Bull ads. So hopefully that's helpful and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.